This is 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 1, and it reads, And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord Yahweh before Eli. And the word of the Lord Yahweh was precious in those days. There was no open vision. And first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashmi al Shai wa Rachakwadash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name. And Rachakwadash is the Holy Spirit. And I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who will teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who push the word in all truth and in all sincerity. And I want to just uh, talk about this uh, situation uh, real quick that happened yesterday. Okay, YouTube was um, basically shut down, okay, it crashed. And, you know, that was just a sign of the things to come, okay? That, that you know, that's a sign of the uh, famine of, of the word because, look, um, most, you know, uh, uh, you know, brothers and, you know, sisters, you know, who um, watch our videos, they go to YouTube, okay? That's how they... Um, Hear the word of Yahweh Shimei Al Shai, okay? And you know, within an instant, the Lord put the spirit on Esau to shut down uh YouTube, okay? That's how quick the Lord can um you know take the word uh, uh, away from uh, uh, uh the people, okay? And that's why I brought out that scripture in first Samuel three, verse one. And the main point was how it said there, and the word of the Lord Yahweh was precious in those days. Okay, and we should be, um, well, we should be feeling that every day. Okay, we should we should have that in our mind every day that that look, uh, the the Lord is precious. Okay, and then, you know it's not a, a, a put it like this. You know, even though it is uh, readily available uh, as of now, but we should always have in our mind that there's going to be a time where it's going to go away. So we got to get, you know, um, this truth while we can. All right. We got to get it while it's hot, okay? You know, we can't be slack. You know, as the scriptures say, which you know what, let me get this real quick. It says in Isaiah 55 and 6, it says, uh, Seek the Lord while he may be found, okay? And right now the Lord is, um, you're able to find the Lord. And how is uh, uh, um, how is that possible, okay? Um, it's possible because the men of the Lord are out there teaching, all right? On the highways and byways, you know, they're making lessons, um, and uploading them on YouTube and, you know, a few other sites, okay? You know, other social media platforms. But eventually, all this stuff is going to get locked down. And this is all the spirit, too, because yesterday, when um, um when we were camping, uh, we made a statement saying that eventually, the, the Esau is going to crash this whole system, okay? And he's going to have a, um, a new platform where he regulates everything. You know, the FCC is going to control it. And it's going to be like um, how it is uh, um, in North Korea, how it is in uh, uh, you know China, where you can only view what the government allows you to. Okay, so th so that's why it's very important right now to you know get this word. Okay, because it's going to happen at some point because it's uh, uh, prophetic. Okay, but uh, let's get this real quick. This is Isaiah fifty five and six. It says, "Seek ye the Lord Yahweh while he may be found; call ye upon him while he is near." So that's what we're supposed to be doing, okay? We're supposed to be calling upon Yahweh Bashim Yahushar while he's near, all right? Before the evil days occur, all right? And we're supposed to, um, you know, seek him. You know, that's why it's very important, you know, that you read your scriptures, okay? It's very important that you um, uh, uh, um, watch, you know, the uh, starting off with the apostles, the elders, the, uh, the, the, you know, the heads of the camps, okay? Of Great Millstone, all right? You know, and and the uh, uh, the brothers, you know, who teaches, you know, uh, uh, the word, okay? The, you know, the other brothers of GMS, you know, uh, and other brothers who teach the same doctrine, all right? You got brothers such as, you know, uh, Men of Valor, all right? You got, um, uh, I'm trying to think uh, of some other groups, okay? You have, uh, um, I think uh, the brother's name is Amawan Abad, okay? There's, uh, you know, other brothers out there who teach the word and preach, you know, the correct doctrine. So, you know, take heed to the words that are being said, all right? Take heed to um, uh, the prophets, all right? Okay? And um, let me get this real quick. I uh, had this on deck, this second Ezra. But you know what? Let's get this in Sirach first. And then we'll get that second Ezra. This is uh, Sirach. Um, 
Where is Sirach? There we go. Sirach chapter, what is that? 5 and 7, I believe it is. Yep, this is uh, Sirach 5 and 7. It says, Make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. So you're not supposed to delay, all right, uh, um, you know, uh, you turning back to the, uh, to the Lord, okay? You know, you're supposed to uh, uh, repent immediately and get your act right. You're not supposed to uh, put off the Lord uh, day to day, okay? You're not supposed to put him off. Th this should be the main, uh, 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 your main focus. This should be the thing that you're meditating day and night, nonstop, okay? You know, Yahweh Shem Yahweh shine the scriptures, okay? That's what you should be meditating day and night. Your life should revolve around Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. That's it. That's your power. That's your uh, uh um. That's the whole duty of man. All right, is to uh, fear Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and keep His commandments. Okay. I think that's in the, the book of Ecclesiastes, the twelfth chapter. It tells you that. That's what King Solomon said. When you read the, uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, he goes into several different things. You know, uh, he talks about, you know, having riches. He talks about having women. He talks about, uh, um, you know, the vanity of things, so on and so forth. Okay. And the last thing he said was, "Look, the uh, the conclusion of the whole matter is fear Yahweh Shem Shai and keep His commandments. That's what we're supposed to be doing." We're that nation uh, that that's supposed to be that priesthood unto the Lord. We're supposed to be uh, 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 um, serving Yahweh Hashem Shai day and night. Okay. All right. So that's why it's you know very important that you know that, that you seek the Lord now. Okay. Because look, you, you know, this internet's not going to be around forever. This information is not going to be you know readily available. The words of the Lord are going to be precious once again. They are. They they always have been, but it's going to get you know um to the point where a man of understanding is not going to be uh, uh, uh accessible like that. Okay. So take heed now while while the day is you know at hand. Okay. Now it says, "Make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth." And that's what the Lord basically did yesterday. He just showed you how fast he could take away the uh, uh, his word. Okay? You know? And we know as the scriptures say, the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night. You got to be on your watch. You got to be prepared. You got to be ready. Because at any moment, the, the, the Lord can just shut everything down and just and have Jacob's trouble um, uh, uh, um, occur. Okay? All right, and it says, "In the night, security thou shalt be destroyed, and perish in the day of vengeance." And we definitely don't want that. So that's why we, you know, we gotta make sure, you know, we're getting our house in order. Make sure, you know, we're, um, you know, just, you know, uh, uh doing what the Lord commanded of us. And really taking heed, and really taking heed. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> you know what? Let me. This is, uh, yeah, this, here we go. This is uh, 2 Ezra 5 and 8. It says, there shall be confusion also in many places. And that's what's happening. You're seeing that worldwide. And you see, it's good to uh, uh, constantly watch videos because the men of the Lord are reporting these things. Okay? They're reporting it and they're explaining why it's happening. Okay? The men of the Lord are explaining why it's happening through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. The prophets are going into the scriptures and telling you why, oh, uh, why this is happening in, in Europe or why this is happening in Asia or why this is happening in the Middle East or, you know, the United States, so on and so forth. This is why these things are occurring. It's because it says this in this particular uh, uh, book. It says this and this, uh, you know, this, that, and the third. Okay? You see? All right. Now it says, uh, Second Ezra uh, five and eight. There shall be confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be offset out ag again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and menstruous women shall bring forth monsters, and salt water shall be found in sweet. And that's going into how, basically, you're gonna have the truth out there mixed with lies, 
And you have a lot of people, okay, that are going to try to pervert the doctrine. You know, you're going to have Esau. Uh, he's going to set up his, uh, uh, you know, his task force to try to combat the truth. You're going to have um, those out there that think that they're teaching the, the correct doctrine. You know, these other false prophets out here. You know, they're they're going to... Uh, 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 um, they're actually going to... Uh, because the Lord's got, uh, uh, you know, demons on them. They, he's got those lying spirits on them. That they actually believe they're teaching the truth, but they're really not. Okay? They may, you know, break down a couple things correct, but they're not giving you the 100% truth. You know? That's what it means by, you know, uh, salt water shall be found in sweet. Okay? And that's why it's important to follow the men of the Lord. You know, the, the men that Yahweh Bashim Shai has set up. Because they're going to give you the truth. Alright, they're going to give you the 100% truth. And I'm going to keep reading. It says, And all friends shall destroy one another. Then shall wit hide itself, and understanding withdraw itself into his chamber, uh, secret chamber, and shall be sought out, um, and shall be sought of many, and yet not be found. And you see, that's what we're coming into, those time period. That, you know, that time period where... The famine of the word is going to occur. And you're not going to be able to, to uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, view videos anymore. You're not going to uh, find the men of the Lord out there on the highways and byways. That's why it's very important to take heed now before those evil days, you know, occur. Seek the Lord while he may be found. All right. You know, Jake needs to stop bullshitting, man. Straight up. Hey, buckle down. Have some discipline. Stay focused. Okay? And it says, Then shall unrighteousness and incon... I always have a problem saying this word, Salaki. Incontency be multiplied upon earth. And when we're seeing that now, okay? Nothing but unrighteousness and infirmities as the scriptures talk about. Okay? And I'm going to keep reading. Verse 11. One land also shall ask another and say, Is righteousness... That maketh a man righteous gone through thee, and it shall say no. And that's what's coming. You people aren't going to um, be able to find the men of the Lord. You're not going to be able to view the videos that you know we've made. Because they're, they're going to uh, clip the whole internet. Like I said, the, the, we, we were talking about that at camp. I made that statement uh, earlier. At any moment, this guy can literally... Um, Destroy all the um the, the these uh, social media outlets, you know, cut them all off and set up a new system. You know that he you know exclusively runs. All right, and you're definitely not going to find the truth on there. Anything that's against the government, they're going to uh, uh uh clip it. Anybody that's voicing you know their opinion, it's going to get clipped. Anybody that's speaking the truth, it's going to get uh, clipped. Okay? I'm going to read this, and uh, we're going to end it off with this scripture. Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh. And, and then that's what's coming. This is what's coming. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, Yahweh. And shall not find it. Alright. So that's why it's important to seek the Lord while he may be found. Because at any moment. Yahweh Bashim Shai. Can you know. Um, it can, uh, uh, can take away the prophets from the people. Okay. Take this word away. Okay. So you know. Hey. Um, just stay focused. You know. Uh, keep studying. Keep listening. You know. Uh, um. And just stay diligent, you know, simple as that, stay diligent, you know, because look, stuff that's coming, it, it, it's about to get, you know, real chaotic out here, it's about to get, you know, real ugly, you know, and we need that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, that's what's going to get get us saved, okay, you know, we need we need to be those wise uh, 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 virgins, okay, to have that oil. All right, but uh, I'm going to end it off with that and, you know, we're going to, uh, you know, end it out and, you know, as always, give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. 
Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.